So I'm always excited when there's a new package in the mail. As you can see, this is not big enough to be a record, but it's still some good stuff. So let's take a look at what we got here. So first off though, um, now the topic today, as the title explained, is going to be Ron Keel or Keel. Now everybody knows, and I'm not even gonna go into this. We know the 80s Keel, you know, right to rock and all the, you know, everybody's got the, anybody who's into the 80s music has the, the 80s Keel music. What happened after that is kind of where we're gonna pick up. I wanted to kind of go through some of what we got going on here. Um, Cause what I've got here is a new Ron Keel album, but let's real briefly run through what happened to Keel after the eighties when all of that died down. And I went ahead and pulled out some CDs cause most of this stuff is on CD. So he had albums into the eighties and then he kind of disappeared. Now some, I guess who follow him or knew well enough what uh, had been going on, uh, understood that he went in to I guess he moved to like the Tennessee area and he went kind of country so years later they put out this CD the Ronnie Lee Keel country years look it's autographed cute and it's made up of two albums his 1995 Western country you can get this without a glare or shadow and then in 1998 he was in a band called the Rattlers and they release an album. So you've got a compilation here of his 95 country album and his 98 country-ish band. So that's kind of what he did after the 80s. Then we do have, well, let me see which came first. Actually, this came first. So in 1990, and this would have actually been before that. I'm sorry, this should have been, this was recorded in 90, but it was released later. I mentioned this in my previous video because it was the band No Shame that, the female band that I showed an album of a couple a video or two ago a couple of the people went over and did Ron Keel and Fair Game this was released much later Beauty and the Beast as you can see I, I showed already it's got you know him and a female backed band there was a movie they were in and they had some clips in there of them playing in the movie so this was a 1991-ish it was recorded in 1991 so this would have been before the country years, uh, but this would have been roughly the last hard rock thing he did. Then he did the country albums, 98. Then in 98, Keel, the band, got back together, released an album, kind of a you know, reunion type album, I guess would be their sixth album. And then you have disappeared again for a little while, and then in 2001, Iron Horse, pretty much a southern rock band. So kind of a mixture of his country flair with a little rock definitely southern rock and then in 2004 bring it on by iron horse and again country southern rock in 2006 a compilation album this was kind of nice some unreleased stuff it's got a bunch of stuff from everything he's been in uh from steeler to keel to iron horse he's got some stuff on here some of the country stuff saber tiger some various recordings and some bonus tracks and live stuff it's kind of a compilation of man that's gonna be hard to see with that glare just a bunch of songs and then in 2010 the band got back together and did the streets of rock and roll so there's another keel band album 2010 to 2014 if this is more or less a ron keel solo album wild country metal cowboy um Kind of back to his, uh, just to a southern rock, sort of like Iron Horse, but this is pretty much solo. But this was like a campaign, kind of a, I don't think it was Kickstarter, but it might have been. One of those Kickstarters or whatever was back then, and you get this, that's why it's autographed and stuff. And there's a little note in here and stuff. But anyway, so 2014, he kind of started doing this, and it's definitely a southern rock flair. And then we jump forward to 2019 and we got the Ron Keel Band. This I showed when it came out a while back. This is all out Southern Rock. It's hard rock at times. I mean, he does a right to rock on here from the Keel days. It's not real country southern -y, but it definitely has that flavor in it. Southern rockish flair uh, throughout it with some hard rock, you know, original Keel sounding roots. Just some great stuff. Anyway, so that was catching it up to, to everything look at that 
That's a rocking picture right there, if you tell me. Ask me anything. Anyway, so that is where, that brought us up to last year. And then what we've got today is the new, and it's not on vinyl yet or I would have bought it, the Ron Keel Band South by South Dakota. Autographed also. And what this is, is a covers album of them doing cover tracks. And they've got Blackfoot, Skinner, 38 Special, Molly Hatchet, it's it's just all kinds it's cover tunes the thing i really liked about it uh from what I, i've listened to already is they did for skinner you would think oh they're going to do one of the big hits but no they did red white and blue which is from their was that 2003 vicious cycle i believe it's it's one of the later generation skinner stuff which i love the later generation skinner stuff but nobody ever plays on the radio so nobody knows what it is but they've got some amazing songs on there sadly nobody hears them and then when you go see them in concert all you hear is the classics which drives me crazy because they have so many great songs it's great that they covered something other than the standards and then it, this came with this was cool this came with a ron keel pick hot harley nights 2019 a south by south dakota sticker a little fold out poster the autograph there in the corner and it's got uh text and stuff on the back i guess it tells a story haven't read that yet it is a digi pack which yeah whatever hopefully it won't get too banged up and it folds out really nice it's got pictures and this opens up even further and then it opens up even further <laughs> how long does it go so it is sort of like the last i'm just all out ron keel band is like all out southern rock now what else do we got in the package so we have a new compilation by steeler this was his original band now steeler if I didn't even grab the album, everybody knows his one Steeler album has, uh, you know, it has Ingve Malmsteen on it, like his first recording when he came to America. He was with Steeler. Steeler did some other things. They were getting po gaining popularity even before Malmsteen and before that. So these are all the recordings and stuff. And look at Tidygraph too. Recordings and stuff. This is just everything from uh, '81 to '82. Now, in 2006, they released American Metal, the Sh Steeler anthology. So we basically got two Steeler anthologies. This is 2020, so it's a new release. But and they both have uh, this one. They both have 16 tracks. But I did notice because I'm like, am I just buying the same thing? Am I getting the same thing? But it's not. It does have a lot of the same songs. A lot of these are unreleased. Some of them are live. A lot of them are previously unreleased. You've got you know 45 single track things like that. The thing is, this the track listings are not the same. I haven't done a comparison to see exactly what's missing, but you know some of the exclusive tracks are on both. But the 16 tracks on here are not the 16 that are on here, so there is some difference. I just have to do a little comparison and figure out exactly. But you know, again, I want to have it, and it has a Steeler pick, which is cool. Let's get a little autograph on the back there. And this I'm looking forward to jumping into because it has got this. It is like a mini book. That is a thick insert there. And you know, it's going to have your typical stories and pictures and flyers. Ooh, now that would have been a concert right there. Steeler, Sound Barrier, and Metallica. I believe Metallica opened for Steeler because they were a little popular back in the day before Metallica was uh, around. Oh look, they're Steeler and you can tell who they're playing with. They're four. You got a little Motley Crue going, action going on behind them. Cool little book of history information. Looking forward to tearing into that. But of course this is a thing that really caught my attention. Well before I show that. And it comes with the sticker. Steeler bumper sticker. Kind of rolled up. I have to reverse roll it up. But look at this. I did have to get a little piece of vinyl. Kind of a package deal. So this is the a, a single recorded in, in 81 and 82. Uh, it's just a little black vinyl. It's got American Metal, which is one of their tracks. And then Let's Spend the Night Together, the Rolling Stones track. And it's autographed also. I guess since you can't tour, you sit around all day autographing material. 
and yeah, it's just it's just black. But so yes, I wanted to get the little Steeler single vinyl. So that's what made me jump on it. Basically, the other day it was like a week ago or so. I, I was listening to the album. I pulled this out and I was cranking it out, and I'm like, yeah, good stuff. I wonder what the latest is. So you know, check in with the website every once in a while, make sure. Went to the website and I'm like, oh look, a new Steeler compilation. Oh look. A new Ron Keel covers album. So I jumped right on it. Two day priority mail and here it is. So thrilling, thrilling. Anyway, if you're into 80s Keel, you probably should still dig this. If you're into Southern Rock, you'll definitely dig this if you haven't checked out the new stuff by Ron Keel and the Ron Keel band. It is just it's it's really top notch Southern Rock. Anyway, with the hard edge. Southern Rock with the hard edge. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. That's all for now. I will catch you later. Rock on!